Hello everybody, Dan McCauley, Family Pastor, Chippewa Falls. Uh, very excited about uh, this message. It's Stand in the Word. Uh, this is day two of our fast and prayer. And the text that I have chosen for this message is right out of uh, Luke. You find that in Luke uh, chapter 11, starting in verse 28. And just to set the tone before I get in the scripture passage, Jesus just began to talk about um, how to pray. He started actually what we call today the Lord's Prayer. And that went into a few other things before he ended up healing a demon-possessed person that was mute. When Jesus uh, healed this person, um, instantly the person could start speaking. And of course, when Jesus did this, Pharisees, Sadducees, everyone that had uh, a public opinion or a stronghold against Jesus immediately had to say something. And then this time, they, they ridiculed him and, and blamed him and said that he is of uh, Satan himself, the devil himself. He's basically casting out his own. Uh, what is important to understand in this passage, though, is Jesus manhandles the situation and he takes it on with the authority, basically explaining that if a, the devil is, if he's a part of the devil and the devil, our kingdom is against itself, in the end, it's going to crumble and fall. And while he did this, and I call this the microphone drop, but while he had this conversation with them, basically knocking out their, their silliness with what they're trying to accuse him of, Jesus handles it and uses scripture. And what's important about this passage here is the second it gets done, a bunch of women hear this and they say, blessed is the woman that bore you. See, women back then identified that uh, women of importance uh, would find um, gratefulness in value from boring or having a son that had good value. I mean, to this day, if you think about Mary, you even hear in the Catholic Church, Hail Mary, full of grace. Uh, so these women identified that the mother had a lot of value. Uh, but Jesus handled it and he said something that was very impactful because Jesus looked at them and he said, blessed are those that know my word, or in some translations, blessed, that are, blessed are those that hear my word and obey it. When we're standing on the foundation of the Bible, standing firm in the word, we need to understand that Jesus, in this moment, even handling some silliness with people, he brought it back to scripture. And what's important for us today, as we begin this fast and we're in the beginning stages, lots of strongholds come to mind, uh, temptations fall into play. We wanna give up in the fast because the flesh is weak. But Jesus says, focus, obey my word. Dive in, dive in deep during this fast. Find your identity in Christ. Stand firm in the word and you will stand strong in his, his glory.